surface. When it was observed over the summer, astronomers detected a small amount of nickel in the surrounding cloud, but they did not detect any iron. So a couple of things to note here. One is that nickel and iron are pretty common in the universe because they are formed inside the core of a dying star. Then that star goes supernova and blasts these metals out into the surrounding area of space where it gets pulled in by new stars that are beginning to form their own planetary disk and then the process repeats. So because nickel and iron come from the same place, they're typically found together in planets, moons, asteroids, and comets. So when we see a lot of nickel, but no iron, we wonder where the iron went, what process separated them. And thing number two, it's weird to see any metal at all sublimating from 3i Atlas given its distance to the sun when this observation was made. Likely, the massive release of CO2 is dragging nickel atoms along with it, but that still doesn't account for the iron deficiency. Now, just like water vapor made a very sudden appearance in the coma of 3i Atlas, the same thing did eventually happen with iron. 